Hi, my name is Stacy, and this is my story. Please like and subscribe. My mom was a beauty queen before she had me, and my dad is a prominent businessman. Our house was full of mom's pictures and shiny tiaras from her modeling days and magazines with her as the cover. One day, you're going to be crowned as the most beautiful girl in the world. Then you can have an amazing life like me. Mom was so obsessed with me being perfect that by the time I was four, she would take me to spas and nail salons. One day when I was nine, mom invited one of the best stylists to prepare me for a kid's beauty pageant, but I <laughs> snuck out to play play with my friends and came back with dirt all over me. Do you know how do you know how important this is? Learn to behave like a beauty queen. I'm so sorry, mom. I never going to play again. She's just a child. Let her have fun with her friends. You can always go to the next pageant. I felt like I had really disappointed mom. I really wanted to make her happy by being the most beautiful girl in the world. So I took up modeling and avoided playing with my friends. It was tough, but I was winning a lot of pageants, which made mom happy. When I turned 12, mom took me to meet with some popular designers so I could start modeling for them. I woke up one morning and I couldn't stop scratching my skin. I told mom I didn't want want to meet with the designer since my skin was all red. Just put concealer on it. Makeup is like magic. See? Now no one will know. We were headed for breakfast when the weirdest thing happened. My skin suddenly developed huge red bumps. Maybe I'm reacting to the concealer? I haven't used that before. Makeup doesn't do that. How do you think I've managed to look flawless all these years? Mom and Dad took me to the doctor, and I discovered I'd developed an allergy to sunlight, which meant I was prone to getting rashes. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. Mom went to the mall to buy tons of sunscreen and makeup. She even hired a private makeup artist who lived with us so she could always cover up any blemishes. I was walking down the runway one day when another model tripped on her high heels and fell right next to me. I quickly helped her up. Thanks. Wow, that was embarrassing. Don't feel embarrassed. We may be models, but we're not perfect. When we got to the changing rooms, Brianna could not stop staring at me. What is that on your skin? Did you have bugs bite you all over? I have a very serious allergy to the sun. It's been so hot lately, so I guess the spots are bigger. I'll just cover myself. No need for that. I have an abnormally large nose, so I guess we're a perfect fit. The spots are barely visible. Brianna's words made me smile for the first time in that dressing room. And just like that, we clicked. Weeks flew by with lots of laughs and secrets like only best friends can have. We did so many pageants together, and Brianna always came in second to me. One day, I invited her to our house. She was so stunned by how big our house was. You mean your mom is the famous Auburn queen? She's a beauty legend. You must be so lucky. No wonder you've won so many pageants. Doesn't it feel awkward to have a mom who is that perfect and have all those blemishes on you? What? That's not funny, Brianna. I know. I'm sorry. I was just kidding. Well, jokes are supposed to be funny. You know, I'm starting to think I don't need that kind of negativity. I've worked hard to feel good about myself. Spots or no spots. No, no, please. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just say stuff without thinking. I hadn't taken my anxiety medication recently. Come on, bestie. I love you. Even though Brianna's joke hung in the air like a bad perfume, I chose to focus on the good times. That's why, weeks later, when my makeup artist fell ill, I didn't hesitate to call Brianna for help. I must have been in a hurry, and I forgot to look at myself in the mirror. I just told her to make sure she got my special sunscreen all over. Sunscreen? Got it. We were walking at the mall when I noticed that people kept staring at me. I thought they were staring at my perfect-looking skin and gorgeous clothes. I stood at the mirror to try on some earrings, and I couldn't help but cry. Brianna had just applied tons of oil on me, and the makeup was so bad that all my scars were visible. Brianna, how could you forget the sunscreen? Look at my skin. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I got distracted and I didn't realize this is not just about looking good. It's about my health. I trusted you and you let me down. I rushed to the washroom and hid. I called dad and he gave me something to cover myself with and took me home. What were you thinking? How could you leave the house without looking at yourself in the mirror? Give her a break. Don't worry, pumpkin. I am saving up to get the best doctor in the world to treat you. The treatment was so expensive and dad became so frustrated because mom wanted him to sell our house to pay for it. When I heard that they were going to sell the house, I decided to quit doing pageants, but mom wouldn't hear it. Instead, mom decided to have me homeschooled, and she even built an indoor pool so I didn't get out in the sun. Please be careful. See how flawless you look when you don't get in the sun? I'm now proud to walk with you. I've installed mirrors all over the house now, just in case. One night, Brianna invited me to a party. She had just won a pageant, and she wanted me to go and celebrate with her. I am 
so sorry about what happened at the mall. I hope you can forgive me. There were so many things on your counter. I swear, Stacy, you're the most beautiful girl I know, and I look up to you. It's all good. I got better. See, I don't have so many spots now. Does that mean you'll be coming back to the pageants? You wouldn't want to mess up your perfect skin. I'm not sure if you're saying this for my own good or just feel threatened that I might get back to the pageants. <laughs> Don't be silly. You know how much I care. But I stopped listening to her because I got distracted by the DJ. He kept staring at me. He was so handsome and had the biggest muscles. He gave me a shout out and I blushed. He kept staring at me and he even called me to the booth. But as I made my way to him, my heart pounding with a mix of nerves and excitement, I felt a cold splash. Brianna's oops echoed over the music as sticky redness dripped down my face. Oops, I am so sorry. You know how clumsy I am in heels. I had enough. I pushed her hard and slapped her. Oops, I'm sorry. You know how impulsive I can be sometimes. She stood there with her mouth open. I excused myself and left the party. And I cut her off from that day. She also didn't talk to me for some days. But then she started texting me again and saying she forgave me, although I wronged her. But I ignored her. One day, I was modeling for a popular designer when I saw the DJ from Brianna's party was also the DJ for this event. When I was done, he approached me and I wanted to hide. You're that beautiful girl from from Bree's party, right? I am glad I finally found you. I'm Chris. Chris was so funny, and we spent the whole evening laughing and sharing photos. He kept looking at me as if I was some unicorn. You look familiar. I mean, apart from the party. I think I've seen you somewhere. Apparently, Chris was the son of the richest man in town, and he had started a small party hosting business for himself. He fell in love with me, and he would come to our house almost daily just to hang out. One day, we had dinner at my favorite restaurant, a place I often visit with Brianna. Everything was great until Brianna arrived unexpectedly. She blushed and quickly sat down near us. She sent me a text. I'd leave if I were you, unless you want me to tell your boyfriend about your condition. Feeling trapped and insecure? I replied, don't you want our friendship back? I'll be your friend again, but please don't mention anything to him. Brianna replied with, sounds good, bestie. I realized I needed space to breathe and think. Chris, I think I need to go home. Brianna and I started talking again, but I was distant and our friendship felt strong trained and joyless. I thought returning to national pageants might be a good distraction. It would keep me busy and might even bother Brianna enough to leave me alone. At the pageant a week later, she was visibly upset to see me. I acted cool and did well in the competition, becoming a favorite to win. But then, my dress for the final catwalk disappeared. Panicked, I started searching for it. I forgot to tell you. The fire alarm went off and the sprinkler suddenly came on. But I put your dress out in the sun to dry. No dryer here. Sorry. Let's see what Chris will think once you step outside in the sun and he sees the real you. I ran outside and grabbed the dress. My skin was suddenly filled with spots, so I decided to run away and not finish the pageant. Mom saw me and ran after me. Where do you think you're going? You get right back to that stage and show them how beautiful you are for me. I mean, show them you're beautiful. But my skin. Don't worry about that. We will have the makeup artist spray you all over with this new concealer. No one will notice a thing. I felt like I was being sprayed by a hose as the makeup artist struggled to cover every inch of me. I've had enough of this. I hopped into the shower and washed off all the makeup. I walked down the runway without any makeup and all my spots showing. Everyone gasped at first, but I was so confident that they started clapping for me. I ended up winning the competition, leaving no crumbs. Chris came and kissed me on stage, but Mom had disappeared. I heard Brianna scream with anger from the changing rooms. Aren't you gonna walk away now that you've seen what I truly look like? Like the most beautiful woman in the world? No way. I decided I was going to show the world what my life was really like. I went for all the photo shoots without any makeup. My photos went viral all over the internet, and so many people showed support for me. Mom left for many reasons, but I think she felt overwhelmed by everything. Seeing you embrace your condition publicly, she must have feared the world wouldn't be as accepting as you are brave. It's hard for her not being in control, not being able to protect you from potential hurt, even if that hurt never came. I couldn't believe that even even after I won the crown she always dreamed of, my mom still left. A true mother accepts her child as they are. If she doesn't, she doesn't deserve the title. That day, I called Chris to tell him I wanted to go to the mall, but he blew me off. He called me a few hours later and said he was willing to take me. I noticed that Chris started avoiding me during the day, and he would only hang out with me at night. We went out for dinner one night, and I confronted him about it. Why don't you ever want to hang out with me during the day? Are you ashamed to be seen with me? Of course not. It's just that I've done my research about your condition. I know sunlight isn't good for your skin. I love you, Stacy. I just want to keep
keep you safe and healthy. I don't believe you. Prove it. Responding to the challenge, Chris went live on TikTok and said, Everyone, I want you to know that I love Stacy more than the stars love the night sky. She's my moonlight in the darkness, and I'd do anything to keep her shine safe. He then lovingly hugged and kissed me all in front of the live audience. Corny, but I love you. One day, Brianna called to apologize for her actions. She cried and said sorry for 10 minutes, but I ended the call abruptly. Dealing with regular people is hard enough for me, let alone someone as unpredictable and psycho as her. Chris became my best friend, and he introduced me to his family as his girlfriend. His family was incredibly warm and welcoming. Chris's dad shared how he had always wanted a daughter and was overjoyed to have me join their family. He even helped my dad expand his business globally. At university, I excelled, graduating top of my class. During the ceremony, I thought I saw my mom in the crowd. I tried to follow her, but she quickly got into her car and drove away. My dad later told me that he had invited her. Why would you do that? She left us. She wanted nothing to do with us. You achieved so much, and I wanted her to see that. But when she learned about our success, she got lawyers involved. She's filing for a divorce and wants half of everything I've earned since we separated. I felt a mix of sadness and resentment. My mom, who had once been a central figure in my life, now seemed like a stranger, driven more by greed than love. Months later, I launched my own skincare brand, tailored for people with skin like mine. It was a success, allowing me to stay in the sun without damage. One day at the store, a shoplifter was caught, and to my surprise, it was Brianna. I'm sorry, jealousy got the best of me. I lost everything after my dad left, and I've been struggling to support my siblings. Brianna's story was distressing. She had sold her hair, which now was wouldn't grow back. I offered her a job, but she disappeared. Years later, while pregnant and engaged to Chris, I encountered a homeless woman. It was a bald Brianna. She saw me and ran away. I felt a mix of pity and caution. I couldn't let her into my life again, but I quietly arranged for her to get help through a charity, keeping a safe distance. I learned that finding the courage to stand up for yourself and choose your own path, even in the face of pressure and adversity, leads to true happiness and empowerment.